Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Corvette Ed's Garage. I know, I know. Where the fuck you been? It's been two months. We haven't seen you. Where are you? We had a little problem. Dr. Valentino to the OR, please. Let's go! Anyway, as you last recall, the OEM auxiliary fan doesn't fit in between the intercooler and the AC condenser. So, we have three contenders. The first contender is the American Volt 12 to 13 inch fan. The second contender is the American Volt 14 to 15 inch fan. And the third contender is the Durali's high output 14 inch fan. Only one of those fans are gonna make it in the car. So stay tuned and find out which one it's going to be. So as you remember, we had some issues with getting a fan in between the intercooler and the AC condenser. So in this episode, we're going to cover the problems that we have address the problems, do whatever modification that we need to do, and then pick one of those fans to slide in in between the intercooler and AC condenser. So, with that being said, let's get to it. Got fans? <laughs> well, we are really having a great time with fans here, I'll tell you. Anyway, this is the original fan that I got from American Volt. Now, I really like this fan. Unfortunately, uh, it, it's it's too wide, okay? As you can tell the difference here. From here to here, it's four inches. All right, I should have been thinking with my head uh, instead, of, instead of thinking with uh, the head that doesn't have a brain. Anyway. Uh, big is not always better. Oh yeah, congratulations. But this is not a bad fan. I really like this fan a lot. I wish I could put it in there. I just, I don't have the freaking room in there. The fuck pissed me off. Anyway, so I decided, you know, I started looking around and then I said, well, let me try the um, uh, the 13 inch fan uh, American Boat has. And that would be this one right here. Well. Uh, you can see the difference. It will fit, but size-wise, uh, I'm thinking, man, this would be all right for a V6, um, not for a V8, I'm sorry. I, I want to try to get as much uh, CFMs in there as possible. I'm not going to be able to do it with this, although it is claiming that it is 2197 CFMs. Uh, I, I tried it. It does kick out some decent air. I am not like this one though. So this one was uh, uh, this one was so much better. So now what I ended up doing is now I spent uh, if these two. I just could have got the one. Go figure. Uh, I ended up going with Daryl. Um, this is a 14.5, and this one has a 265 watts. If, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'll, I'll put it up here somewhere um, and draw 22 amps, okay? Where this one here is 180 watts and draws something like, uh, I don't know, I think 10 amps or something like that, which is not bad. Uh, this one here, well, this is a 90 watt one. So, uh, and this one only draws about eight, eight or nine amps. Maybe this one's a little bit higher. Uh, I'll, I'll put it up here. Anyway, besides all that uh, bullshit, now let's try the Daryl. The Daryl's a 14.5 as far as uh, the width, a little bit bigger than this one. Uh, not much. It, 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 it is claiming almost 2,000 CFMs. Okay. This one is supposed to be 2197. This one, this Daryl is supposed to be almost 2,000. At 265 watts with the amperage that is pushing out, I got a feeling that this one is going to be. Well, this one is 2.5 inch as width, so it's going to fit in there. All right, so let's uh, see what we got in the box. I'm giving it an 
all she's got, Captain. If I push it any harder, the whole thing will blow. Hey, good morning, my YouTube friends. Good morning, Corvette enthusiasts. And good morning, the motorcycle community all together. And good morning, Vietnam. Um, as you can see, it's uh pretty messy around here. <laughs> <laughs> we've been banging away on the Corvette and uh, we've had some issues with the intercooler so uh, I needed to uh, do something with that intercooler because no matter what fan I put in here it wasn't going to work that's not gonna fit what Steven uh, the condenser and the intercooler it's just there's not enough space in between them so three fans later there you go thank you sir there you go. There you go. I finally realized that uh, no matter what I do, uh, I need to move that intercooler uh, towards the front of the motor. I got to get some room in there. I got to have a uh, fan. From what I understand, these cars get hot with the supercharger on during the summertime, and I was advised not to run the AC. Well, in Central California, uh, it's hot out here, so. Um, I want to be able to run that AC when I, I need it. You know, of course, we're going to be picking and choosing the time we're going to run it, you know, but uh, I still want to run the damn thing, you know. I mean, come on, I got AC in there. So, anyway, uh, trying to figure it out, I, we ended up, uh, I ended up with some help, my kid, and we pushed the radiator back, I'm sorry, the, we pushed the intercooler up forward, so. Uh, it's still sitting where uh, Pro Charger had it sitting, but we did modify the um, intercooler bracket uh, somewhat. I'm going to need some new brackets, or otherwise I'm going to have to uh, uh, make some brackets. So, As you can see, this is my dilemma. Now, this is the American Vote heavy-duty fan that I got, and I really like this fan a lot, but uh, it was way too too wide, so that, that, that wasn't going to happen. And that led me to pick up the uh, the Raleigh fan, which was uh, shorter than this uh, four-inch wide one. So, since I haven't really showed you uh, anything on how I installed the fan, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I installed uh, the 13-inch fan from American Volt why I chose not to test it out before I did this. Oh man, I don't know. I end up shooting myself in the foot because as you can see, I, I have to take everything back off and uh, it's not an easy task. So I, I just inserted the fan in there to get an idea if it's going to fit. And yes, it does fit. Um, there was no issues with the 13-inch uh, fan from American Volt. But you know, as you can see here, it, it, it's there's, with the uh, brackets, um, the IC brackets, uh, intercooler brackets, they're where they're supposed to be. So um, there you go. There, there's the fan. Um, everything's everything's good. Uh, it, it, it it fits in there, no problem. But you know, it, it, it's a small fan and I, I should have tested it out first but anyway there you go that's how it is it's just these uh, zip ties that go through the condenser and then you cap them off on the uh, motor side of the condenser pretty simple installation just sizing everything up uh, of course the housing has to be left uh, on there as, as I showed originally anyway um, that's all there is to it there's nothing no nothing fantastic about it uh, just time as you can see the Corvette is not an easy car uh, to deal with but anyway after I installed this and I plugged everything in uh, I did leave the, uh, the 14 15 inch fan, heavy duty fan wiring in uh, which was a little overkill for this one but it doesn't matter bigger uh, wa uh, uh, thicker wiring is not a big deal but anyway um, the install went pretty smoothly. This is how I actually uh, attached the fan to the condenser uh, until I hooked everything up. 
And that's where the problem came. That fan there is not the greatest fan for V8 motor. Um, it did blow uh, a decent air, but not enough for a V8. Not, not, not for my purpose. I, I needed something that's going to be blowing some decent CFMs here uh, before the uh, main fan kicks on. Now the main fan, that don't come on till about 215, 219 I believe, which is way the hell up there um, as far as uh, the, uh, when it kicks on. And then the auxiliary fan didn't kick on until about 238. So I, I want to go with the 180 as far as the first kick on. And then at, if it reaches 219, of course the big fan to kick on. And that's going to really cool it down once that one kicks on. So uh, I ended up pulling this off. I mean, there's no reason. It, it's just, uh, it, it's pretty much a paperweight. That was a mistake buying that 13-inch uh, fan. Uh, but anyway, this is how this is the procedure to how to put them on. It's pretty simple. Anybody can do it at home. So as you can see, it's uh, really not that hard. You just clip off the zip ties when you're done, uh, and it actually holds it in pretty good. Uh, I've never really done this type of method. I I, I knew about it, um, but I never really did it. So here we are, now that we've uh, determined that we're not going to use that small fan uh, as we, we thought we would, and it's time to pull it, pull it out and um, address the intercooler brackets uh, once and for all. The uh, first thing we got to do is remove the intercooler cover, and once the uh, intercooler cover is uh, removed, that will expose the intercooler and uh, we can go ahead and start pulling that uh, intercooler off and prepare to modify it uh, so we can get it up closer towards the front of the bumper. Um, by doing so, uh, we'll be able to make room. One of these freaking fans, I hope. So now with the uh, intercooler cover off, uh, I'm going ahead and take the uh, intercooler out of there, first dropping the air scoop, and then uh, go ahead and pull the intercooler off. Uh, I want to get to those brackets because those brackets are the, are the problem right now that needs to be taken care of. So now that we got the brackets out, I needed to modify the brackets somewhat. The um, reason being is the uh, brackets are now going to go underneath the hinges. Uh, they were up on top, but the tabs up on top a little bit too long to get underneath the uh, bottom of the hinges. So we had to cut some of it off as well as cut some of the uh, bottom portion of the um, um, bracket because now the brackets were too long and they were interfering uh, with getting the uh, intercooler back on. Now I'm going to be uh, trimming a bit off of the top bracket and uh, also I'm going to be trimming off some of the uh, uh, bottom portion of the bracket because these are going to go underneath the hinges instead of above and it's going to drop the AC down lower. Uh, and I want to try to keep it right where Pro Charger wanted me to. Uh, in order to do that, I need to uh, trim away here. But these are just temporary because uh, I, uh, this particular one I bashed up pretty good. I'd like to use a new piece, but unfortunately I didn't get the new pieces in time. But I needed to get the inner cooler done. Okay, now we got it a little bit lower. Is it going to work? Well, it's not going to work for that um, 180 watt fan that I had originally. No, 130 watts going to fit in there no problem at all. But the Duralis, now that shouldn't have any issues to, uh, dropping in between the condenser and the. Uh, uh, intercooler. I think we pretty much got it whipped right now. Uh, all the brackets are modified and intercooler is pushed up. We're golden. Intercoolers install and guess what? There's the fan right there. And um, there's plenty of room now. So now the um, intercooler is hanging. You don't remember me, do you? No. When you 
you hang a man, you better look at him. As low as it was uh, originally. So for the most part, uh, the um, air scoop is pretty much in the same position as it was where, when, it, when the IC was uh, connected to the top hinges. And that was the main goal. Now the inner tubing is just mocked up for right now. So that's what's going on with it. Uh, I'm in the middle of tearing everything apart and uh, putting it all back together in, in a permanent, on a permanent basis. So the garage is a mess. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and clean the garage up because I can't stand tools all over the place. Uh, this part of it is pretty much done. Now what fan did I go with? So I ended up getting a Durali Performance High Output Electric Fan. So much for bolt-on, right? What a fuck pain in the ass this what turned out to be. Anyway, it just goes to show you, though, you know, not everything is going to bolt on. You know, I kind of laugh whenever I see a kit that says bolt-on. It's just never truly a real bolt-on. Actually, when I moved the intercooler towards the front, everything actually started getting a lot smoother. Yes! 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 Still couldn't put in that uh, OEM uh, auxiliary fan. Still didn't have enough room for that. And still didn't have enough room for the American Volt 14 inch heavy duty fan. But with that being said, you know, it, it was a problem. I'm gonna kill myself, so don't try to stop me. Okay. Um, well, what do you mean, okay? No, I... And it was a problem that didn't want to go away. And the key is, is you become the problem and you become the problem that doesn't go away and you'll be successful every time. So, just got to turn the tides around. Anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all the above. And Corvette's Garage is back. Corvette's Garage is here to stay. And Corvette's Garage is still going strong.